What's up guys, so for today's video, we finally get to install my MTXL Plus Innovate Motorsports Wideband into my gauge cluster pod bezel machine dig. So yeah, I'm gonna open up the box, show you guys what it all comes with when you order this thing, and we're gonna install this, and then we're gonna install this into this. So let's get this video started. Alright, so when you first get your Innovate Motorsports wideband kit, mine's gonna be all out of place because I already used mine before. I had the setup for my street tune. So, you know, it's gonna come like this basically but way better package and, you know, everything is look nice and neat. So you get your wideband of course, is what you order. And then you get more, you got another face. You have a white face. So you have two and you have everything you need to basically wire in the wideband. You got your O2 sensor right here. You got to plug it in to your factory um, port for it. You have everything you need. And then look, if you wanted to, you can data log. That's, this is freaking dope. And you got another face right here for the white face. If you don't like the black one, black one's dope, but you got a silver one, sorry, not white, silver. And you get a sticker, of course. And then you get this little bong hole thing in case you have to weld it or something. So yeah pretty dope man pretty dope package comes with trust me it's way nice and neat once you get it so let's get started with actually installing this thing I'm gonna make it look all right so I just removed my original bezel cluster bezel right here just well you know just to mock up and see if it'll fit and everything is like I mean it's a little it's not like black like this one, but you guys can't really tell on camera, but this is way darker than this. This is like an off grayish, but I probably gotta paint it. But for now, we're just gonna install this thing and get this thing on the road in a way of like knowing my air to fuel ratio because I don't know if I'm running lean or rich and everyone knows my car is like the integral of YouTube that dies every two weeks. <laughs> it is very important to run a wide band, especially if you have any parts on your car that's a performance part because knowing your air to fuel ratio can help a lot. You know, it helps tuners diagnose over the phone what could be the problem. It lets the tuners know if you're running too rich or too lean. Now, if you guys don't know what both of those mean. So this is just a simple mock-up, just to see how it would look. I still can read my climate control barely. I just have to put my head like over here like that to read it. That's why I really don't like these uh, cluster ones. I like the one that goes here and I ordered this one, but it didn't fit. I traded a guy around town for this one. I took an L right there, but eventually I just buy the actual one that fits the Integra and then do everything on this. Cause I like this is better than this one. I mean, yeah, it's tucked, but this just screams race car and badassery, so that's why I like that one. So now that you fit the wide band into the bezel, to lock it down so it doesn't move and rotate a lot, you get this little clamp in your package when you order your wide band, and you get two little golden nuts to screw on to these two threads that's actually planted on the wide band itself. You guys can see through right there, you guys can see that. There's two little screws that go off. How you wanna do it, just put, you know, just have common knowledge and just boom like that. And then you get your two little nuts and then you just screw down on it so you can lock it in place. And it's just that simple. Voila, son. Wa to the la. Everything is now ready to go in. And you don't have no excessive movement at all. You're ready to go, boys. You are ready to go. Basically, I had to run this wire, which goes to the O2, basically. And through another wire that goes to the O2. Uh, I ran this through, like, th there's a little hole. So that's what I did. I just popped this out and run the hole. I'm going to run it through the firewall because I have to have this link up to another one of those lines over there to run to the O2 sensor so it can have a reading. Then I got to wire in the ground and the power so I can get power to this thing. So for my ground i'm thinking about just wiring it into my cruise control even though it doesn't work but it still has power because there's light in here that goes on when i click cruise and it's pretty close to actually everything instead of me running it to my uh radio so i might just run it through here because it's just easier that way and it's always you know it's right there i click of a button i just push it and it has power so yeah we'll see exactly what i do so now that the wire is right here now we're gonna hook this wire up to this and then this goes to another wire which that wire goes into the o2 sensor wire and the o2 sensor goes into either my test pipe or my header itself we're gonna figure out once we get underneath the car but yeah i know my carpet in my car is garbage it's like a black grayish i know i have to actually get an actual carpet but don't roast me too much all right so now that we got this plug i gotta fish this through the firewall so usually you fire so usually you want to uh, fish it through this hole of your uh, ECU harness or cabin harness, whatever this comes out to be. It's a harness that goes to the car itself. You would usually fish that through that, usually fish the wire through this and that's exactly what we're going to do. I finally got it through this little hole, man. It was such a pain, but 
Your boy got it. Your boy got it. Okay, so now we got the O2 out. Now this plug that I pulled through the fire off plugs into this like so. Boom. Once you do that, you just fish this all the way down through your engine bay, all the way down to either your header or your test pipe. I feel like the only hard part I'm gonna have with this whole install is splicing wires and you know wiring into my cruise control because I hate wiring anything. I hate the wiring process. So that might be you know my worst part of this video trying to splice and dice into this damn thing so yeah what the hell all right so i actually wired my o2 into my header i have two but i feel like i get a better reading if it's from the header or maybe i get a better reading from from the test pipe who knows who knows well all i know is i'm gonna do it from here and i need a new oil pan bro look at my look at my oil pan bro daniel if you're watching this video bro find that oil pan for me please this is just look just look ugh. as i stated before i can't wire for crap so my boy dc4 rob is finna come over and help me wire in this thing because i have no idea how to wire and i don't want to mess anything up so when he gets here we're gonna continue this video which should be like now now before robert gets here i'm gonna tell you guys exactly on why i went with innovate motorsports over you know am three reasons for that the first reason is am is cool and all but their technology is outdated compared to the new model of the mtxl plus which is supplied by innovate motorsports the new innovate mtxl plus wideband is seven times faster and they're using an all new patent direct digital wideband sensor which is way out of this world um, well, we'll see once I crank this thing up, go for a couple of rides and give you guys a full review on the wideband itself. And the third would be AEM sensors go bad more than Innovate Motorsport sensors. And of course, you know, there's no such thing as a sensor that's going to last you for years and years and years. But Innovate Motorsports seems to last way longer than AEM. I did my research on both of the sensors and everyone states that AEM is good and all, but the sensors go bad more frequently than Innovate's MTXL model. And that's three reasons why I decided to go with Innovate Motorsports or the competition, which is AEM. More fast. <laughs> so now we're just looking up the actual diagram to actually wire in those wires. He has more experience than I do with you know wiring and stuff because he got his wide band wired up. So yeah, that's what we're doing so far, and then we'll fill you in once we make more progress. Okay, guys. So change your plans. We're not gonna wire into the cruise control anymore because we don't know which is which, and the diagram on Honda Tech and Club and Tech and all that stuff like that isn't really showing us exactly which is power and ground on that. We're gonna extend some wire from these and then run it over there to the radio and then just hardwire into the radio or splice it. All right. So now that we pretty much think we got it, what we did is extend the wires. Robert had an extra wire in his car, so we extended the wire to the radio, ground and power, I believe, and then. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all we did. You can get the uh, wire from any, you know, store that sells the shit, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, let's see if this shit works. Oh, we in, boy. That shit says hater. Wow. Oh, the ISO. Let's get a read. We have a... Oh, there we go. We're reading, boys. Now I'm on E85, so it's gonna read a little different than to those who are on pump gas. It's not bad though. We in or we got it. We got everything installed properly. So all we gotta do right now is just yeah, we just gotta tuck all the wires now. So we'll do that real quick and then I close out this video. All right, so that everything is done. Everything's like tucked, semi tucked. I gotta fix that tomorrow, but pretty much everything is like done. I just gotta fix the wiring, but it's all said and done, and we got. Um, let's see everything works so we're good we are good as i'm editing this video i realized i did not close it out so i want to give a special 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 shout out to the guys over at innovate motorsports for making this video possible i reached out to them in hopes of actually getting the wideband for a discounted price and it was like you know what we're gonna work with you bro we're gonna see you on our brand newest model. And I was like, yee to the yee. And it happened, and I'm, I'm glad this happened. I just wanna give a huge shout out to them for making this video possible. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.